Hey, what's good? Mark Brooks here with Applied Vision Baseball. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how elite level hitters are able to be on time with high velocity fastballs while taking quality swings on quality pitches with seemingly effortless effort. They make it look so easy. How do they do it? What's their secret? That's what we're going to talk about today. For me, it starts with keeping your finger on the swing trigger and making adjustments in your mid swing with vision cues. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel, guys. Nothing that we talk about here is gonna be revolutionary. This is about instincts, all right? If you get anything out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like. A lot of the topics that we're gonna be talking about today, a lot of the skill sets we're gonna be going over today are abilities and tools that you can learn in the Applied Vision Baseball Pitch Recognition app. So you can check that out at AppliedVisionBaseball.com. One thing all elite level hitters have in common is their refusal, complete refusal to be cheated by the fastball. If you want to play at the next level, you got to be able to hit the fastball, right? Count leverage. 1 0, 2 0, 3 1, even 0 0. When you're sitting fastball, you're geared up and you're ready to be on time. Hitting is about being on time, pitching is about upsetting that timing. Our job is to be on time on every single pitch, right? If the pitcher's pitching backwards, he's throwing that get him over curveball. 0 0, 2 0, 3 1, we adjust, right? We sit on the off speed and look for something up in the zone. If the breaking ball that starts up in the zone is probably going to be in our wheelhouse at point of contact. If the breaking ball that starts down, it's going to be in the dirt at that point of contact. We're spitting on it. We are not swinging. This is plate discipline. This is instincts. How do we work on this? Well, we have to be ready to hit. My guy Steve Springer would say, take the if out of your swing. It's a strike until it's not. Swinging with intent to do damage. That's the key word here, guys. We're not swinging just to put the ball in play. We're not swinging to not strike out, to not fail. No, we're swinging to hurt someone's feelings. We're swinging with intent to do damage. Big difference. The mentality is yes, yes, no on a ball. Yes, yes, go on a strike, right? Keeping your finger on the swing trigger. Soak that in. This is a skill set, again, that you can train in the Applied Vision Baseball app using the swing trigger training. You can do it on your iPhone. You can do it on your laptop. You can do it on a desktop, TV. You can even do it in VR. Simulating live at bats in a controlled environment rehearsing success that's what we do at applied vision baseball okay let's talk a little bit about eye tracking right eddie murray one of my favorite players growing up i could watch this guy hit all day he puts on a hitting clinic this guy's legit he said it best when he said that they should change the game of baseball to adjustments because you make so many adjustments throughout the course of a game a week month and a season right no kidding words of wisdom if you want to hit at an elite level, you need to have off the charts pitch recognition skills, all right? One of the ones that we train, one of the skill sets that you can learn regarding visual abilities is psychotic rhythm. An elite level hitter with great vision doesn't swing at where the ball is early in the zone. He's not swinging at where the ball is when the ball is coming out of the hand. He's swinging at where the ball will be at point of contact. That's psychotic rhythm. Psychotic rhythm is the ability to predict the future movement of a moving object. In our case, that's gonna be a baseball. We're trying to hit a baseball consistently, all right? When you are seeing a big leaguer on time with a 100 mile an hour fastball and he takes a hell hack like it's nothing with effortless effort, what you're seeing is psychotic eye movement. Or if you see a big leaguer who sits on a breaking ball and he's acting like he, he knew it was coming, right? And you didn't hear a trash can, I didn't hear a trash can. What you're seeing is psychotic eye movements. Hitters, we have to be able to adjust. Right? In order to allow what you learn in practice to translate into the game, you have to be able to make adjustments pre at bat, pre swing, and during your swing. Right? How do we do that? With visual cues. As hitters, we're only as good as the pitches we swing at. If you want to make hard contact, we got to be focused, present, and on time. Right? We have to have an approach that matches our strengths. If you swing like a donkey and you're hitting in the three, four, five hole and you're swinging just to make contact, right? You're not having an approach that matches your strengths. If you're a leadoff guy, you got some speed, you can run the bases a little bit. Your job is to get on base, put yourself in scoring position, and you're taking hell hacks with two strikes, you're not using an approach that matches your strengths. All right, we have to have an approach that matches our strengths. We have to be ready for the fastball, keep our finger on the swing trigger. It's like one of my favorite lines from Steve Springer, if you can't hit a fastball, go play soccer. All right, we have to be able to make adjustments in our mid-swing by allowing our vision to dictate our instincts at the plate. That's all I got for you guys. Let me know what you think of this video. If you have questions or topics you'd like for me to talk about, 
interested in another video, leave a comment down below. DM me on Instagram at Apply Vision Baseball. Follow me on Twitter, Apply Vision BB. That's all I got. Until next time, peace.